Hello. Here's a very quick example about doing uh, feature type fanouts and data set fanouts. Now, what kind of fanout you want to do really depends on what kind of output you want and what kind of output format you're dealing with. Uh, when you're dealing with an Excel spreadsheet, you're dealing with a file based formats, or format, meaning that the feature type fanout will be individual sheets within an Excel spread, uh, spreadsheet file, and a data set fanout would be separate XLS files. So if I wanted to create a separate sheet, in this case I have a, a source data set, this is just a simple data set, it has name and name alt, uh, name is the name of a park, name alt is a type of park, I can create a separate sheet for each value of name by going into the feature type properties, you can do that just by double clicking on feature type, and then here we have fan out by attribute. So if I fan this out by name, then when I run the translation, it will create a separate sheet for each value of name. If I wanted to create a separate output XLS file, I would do what's called a data set fan out. And that is done under the writer parameters here in the navigator. I can open up my XLS writer. And it's under advanced. And I have a fan out data set. I'll double click on that, set it to be yes, that turns it on. Now we can choose the output directory, a prefix, that's optional, you can have that blank, or we could have that test underscore something. The attribute to fan out on, name alt, and then the fan out suffix, in this case that's the uh, extension of the file. Hit OK, and now when I run the translation this will create a separate output XLS file for each value of name alt and within that a separate sheet for each value of name you know, if it actually works. One of the things to watch out for is uh, special characters. So here we are, fatal error. You may end up with the same thing occurring. So let's see, schema lookup failed for table east estimation is not a valid name. Uh, make sure it does not have invalid characters, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, with some of these, what you'll end up having to do is clean it up a little bit. So, the east uh, destination, in this case, uh, that would be a value. Now, I believe mm, we should be able to create files without issue that have spaces in the names, but the names themselves could be a problem. So let's see, we can fix that with what's called a string replacer. Now this is something we do have a, a PR file for this. Uh, this is something which I'm hoping will be fixed in the near future because I know Excel itself does allow you to have sheets with spaces in the names. Text defined, a space, replacement text, an underscore. That should take care of it. There we go. So you can see we created a number of different output files. Let me go in here and check. Let's all see temp. So here's all the different types of parks. My golf course, and then if I open that up, if I actually had Excel, an Excel spreadsheet, uh, there would be separate. Um, there would be separate sheets for each possible name. So that's a quick example of feature type fanouts with spreadsheets that creates a separate sheet and data set fanouts which with Excel will create separate XLS files.